what the machine actually is doing, what that metal truly is. Well, we've talked about a number of different color metals. Let's talk about green gold. Flash back to 1978, 1977. I had two colors of green gold. It was 14 green and 18 green, and that's all it was known as. Today I have 10. We came about these 10 greenish and green colors through years of working with the alloys, because you just can't put the different alloys together and say, okay, great, now it's greener or it's darker. They have to also still be able to get along with each other, the different alloys, so that when a jeweler is working on the metal, the metal behaves. It doesn't crack, it's not too soft, it's not too hard. And the way we do that is by changing the combination of silver, copper, and zinc. You have to understand that this is years of development. In order to get a metal color that is rich and beautiful and works and have a slight difference from the color previous to it, it requires a tremendous amount of understanding and patience and testing. I love yellow gold because they're truly the standard. Uh, but as designs went on and new designers created new styles of jewelry, they probably, you know, said, look, they'd really like to express it as something slightly different or something maybe radically different. So we were being approached by the different designers and say, look, I like the 18 yellow because it's rich and royal and beautiful, but I want to get something deeper. How do I go about doing that? And that set us off on the task. Right here, this is the 14 green. And it does look a little green, as the same way the yellow looks yellow or 24 karat looks very yellow. But if you want something very deep and rich, look at that. That's amazing. And it is different from the 18 yellow. The 18 yellow, I don't know, when I think of 18 yellow, I think of crowns that the kings and queens wore back in, in uh, days of Europe. But this is seriously a rich, green color. And it goes with most stones. Here at Carrera, we really wanted to give options so that when you get either a designer that's been doing it all their life or a designer that's just breaking into the field, that they have an opportunity to express themselves in so many different colors. We find people very receptive. One of the big problems is when they come and see all our different greens, it's uh, hard for them to actually decide which one works best because sometimes too many options are just too many options. But uh, everybody really, they'll eventually decide on the color that works for them. Green golds, I would guess they're probably the most expressive other than pink. But in pink, we have a few varieties. But in green gold, we have 10. <laughs>